as I was going about life, as I was understanding what my self-imposed limitations were, and why was it so um, why was it so easy for me to fall for somebody else's stuff, for somebody else's story? And remember, love talks to you through everything that you're interested in. When you're looking at our social structure, you go, how do we get here? How do we get to this place taking everything into account? Well, if love talks to us through everything that we are interested in, and for me, if all the world's a stage, if I got that direct knowing from inside, wow, there are so many books that are written on spirituality and ways of being, so many manuals. And how did they come about? They had to emanate from within. For us at the time, writing it down, getting it out there for us, so that we could understand how things could be, how they could work at that time. And please, as you discover these things too, uh, even as you look at my material, do not bind yourselves to the freedoms of my dictations. Use what is useful, disregard the rest, and keep it pushing. But hey, again, back to how did all of this happen? Because if none of us needed manuals on how to be a good human being, and if we're all living on this planet in different ways and different styles and at different times, how did this one way of thinking just take over this particular area? Well, quite frankly, it was the fact that people in different neighborhoods, different sections were living however they were living. Somebody came up, dressed differently, had different stuff, had different thoughts, had different stories. Introduced it to the people that were just fine the way they were, but since they were looking at something that they had no explanation for, no frame, and they were in awe, and they believed what this individual in front of them was saying, and they changed their story. They changed their story because of the influence of another person, because they gave their power away to that other individual. And once they gave their power away to that particular belief system, that is when they became a slave to it. Once you lock yourself into somebody else's story, you are bound by that story. I'm sharing all of this with you so that you can develop your own method of operation. You can go back to expressing who you truly are. If you've never done it before, welcome. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to think that you need to get to a perfect end-all goal. You are perfect as you are right now. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing at all. So this is not about trying to figure out what you're doing wrong, just figure out what you're doing, and then move right from where you are. Because even the greatest of us at different times in life really understood the fact that we develop our own method of operation. And when we stop looking outside of ourselves for love, acceptance, and approval, and we come back within to hear that voice, then we allow the answers.